RAGE 128 graphics on AGP2X bus. Much faster graphics with 16 megabytes of graphics memory. Ultra ATA 66 drives. So you can burst information twice as fast from the drives as you could on the G3. And all of the models have FireWire built in. FireWire, we think, is incredibly important. It runs at 400 megabits per second. And it's an industry standard. Every, consu every major consumer and computer electronics company is supporting it. And we're very excited. The number of devices is now starting to take off exactly like USB did six months ago. There are over 60 announced devices, and we're just about to cross the threshold with 25 of them shipping. And you'll see these things really take off in the next three to six months as well. And this is not even counting consumer electronics devices because there are over 7 million camcorders in the world that already have FireWire jacks on them. Every digital camcorder. And this is very important to us because we really believe in desktop video. And now you can get video into your computer without any extra add-on cards in pristine digital quality using FireWire right off these digital cameras that sell for under $1,000. There's also hard drives, and even in this case, zip drives now, with FireWire interfaces on them. They derive their power right from FireWire, so you can just plug in a little 4, 6 gig, 8 gig drive and use it as removable storage. Some of the best digital cameras in the world now feature FireWire ports built in to transfer the voluminous amount of data you get from image sensors that are now 2K by 2K. Scanners. Even magneto-optical drives, there's a bunch of stuff in the Apple booth today. I'd suggest you go check it out. We think FireWire is going to be extremely important. And it's built into every single G4. And airport. Our wireless networking is built into the high-end models of the G4s. So you can just pop that same airport card right in and put your G4 on the airport network and even use it as a software base station so that you don't even have to buy a hardware base station. So that's the G4, and I'd like to now show you what it looks like. You know what the G3 looks like. Let me show you what the G4 looks like. This is it right here. It's beautiful. It's like we preserved the award-winning revolutionary design of the G3 with its instant access door that gives you access to every internal component in a matter of seconds. But we've reskinned it to reflect its power and elegance in our new pro colors. Silver, clear, and a beautiful gray we call graphite. And it's really beautiful. It is. Let me show you some slides of that. There it is. And again, all of the great things you've loved about the G3 are still there. Instant access to every component inside. And we're going to be selling it in three models. 400, 450, and 500 megahertz. 400 has 64 megabytes of memory all the way up to quarter gigabyte in the 500. 10 gigabytes of storage all the way up to 27 in the 500. A CD-ROM in the 400, a DVD-ROM in the 450, and a DVD-RAM in the 500, which means you have f over 5 gigabytes of removable storage with a media cost of under $40. Who wants their floppy back? And the prices. <laughs> Our engineering teams have been working hard. 
Now, we're going to deliver these three models, if you listen to the rumor sites, in January, right? But that's not true, is it? No. We are today shipping the 400 megahertz version. <laughs> after we get a batch of them off, in a few weeks, we'll start shipping the 450 megahertz version. And a few weeks after that, we'll start shipping the 500 megahertz version. So we are hitting the ground on these things substantially sooner than anyone had predicted. And again, our engineering teams have been working their tails off to bring these things to you because we think they're so cool and we want to get them in your hands. Now, if you don't find what you're looking for in our three models, you can go to the Apple Store and build whatever you want, custom build to order, one of over 8,000 different configurations that you can build yourself. So that is our new Power Max G4. And now I'd like to get Phil back up on stage and we're going to show you. Now remember, one of our design goals for this machine was to make it the ultimate Photoshop machine. Right? We all use Photoshop day in and day out and Photoshop can be incredibly demanding. So we wanted to build the fastest ultimate Photoshop machine in the world. So Phil, what's the first demo we're going to do? Photoshop, Steve. <laughs> Great. 